Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Austin, Texas at the Enhanced Recovery After Cardiac Surgery Society meeting. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Mark Gerdish, who's the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. Dr. Gerdish, it is great to see you again. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Adam. Great to have you here at this meeting. Yeah, we're learning lots. And at the same time, I'm getting questions from patients. This question, Dr. Gerdish, comes in from Nupur, and she asks, Hi, Adam. I've been postponing my mitral valve repair for a number of years. Now, my left atrium is enlarged and I'm experiencing symptoms. I am paralyzed by the fear that my heart will not restart. How often does this happen? What do doctors do if the heart does not restart? Well, it's a perfectly legitimate question, right? Because you're going to have your heart stopped to have heart surgery. You know, when we think about where we are right now, which is in the enhanced recovery meeting, we think about all the fears that people have. They have fears of discomfort, of lack of recovery, of not being well, of a protracted stay in the hospital, of their heart not starting. So uh, I'm going to say that this is a fairly simple one because it always restarts. Uh, if the heart doesn't, there are two ways that the heart can be impaired, right? So one is the mechanical squeeze, the muscle squeezing. And then one might think of that not starting if it can't squeeze. And the other is the electrical event that tells the heart when to squeeze. So it's not unusual for right around the time of surgery for the electrical event to not be in its usual rhythm or for it may per, maybe not even to occur right away. But we have very simple methods for addressing that. We put little electrodes on the surface of the heart. Essentially, everybody gets them. And they are on the surface of the heart from the time you're in the operating room till shortly after being in the operating room while you're in the hospital. And those little electrodes allow us to tell the heart when to beat. So it will always start. It will, the electrical event can be given or it will it happen on its own. And 99% of the time it happens on its own. We have those leads for those events where we can't uh, get the heart to deliver that signal. And then the mechanical part, we have become extremely uh, talented. We've developed uh, multiple methodologies for ensuring that mechanically the hearts are well preserved and that they function well, that the squeeze is good after the operation. Now, your fears are still legitimate because heart surgery is still heart surgery, like any procedure, like when anybody has any type of procedure, there are going to be some risks. But now let's compare those risks, in your case, compared to what you're talking about. Because when we look at mitral valve repair, the risk for an otherwise healthy person is so low that it's almost stunning. So I think you really need to be familiar with that. Recognize that as you said, your disease is progressing, your left atrium is enlarged, you're having symptoms. This is time to have the valve repaired. And then in the, uh, in the environment of what we're talking about today, which is all of the advanced elements of recovery, all of the advanced elements of preparation for surgery that we have now, it can be a very seamless experience for you and you hope just a really rapid recovery and get you back to your life. Well, Newper, I hope that helped you not only learn about restarting the heart, but also encouraging information to go ahead and get your valve fixed. And Dr. Gerdish, as always, thanks for everything you and your team are doing yeah. at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, thanks for having me. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.